Welcome to the controversial 3623EB by Montana. There's a lot of great features like wide open space and this incredible pull-out pantry, but the biggest issue is that what is supposed to be the biggest win is probably the biggest fail. You see, here's my rub. While moving this up and down, getting the bikes in and out is actually easier than I expected. I thought it was gonna be really difficult and it's not. Actually getting the bikes into this holder is way more difficult than I expected. Uh, when you, because they're so close, when you try to use the ramps to push the bikes up, the pedals just kind of hit each other and get in the way and it's hitting the wheels and it's difficult to get the bikes in using the ramps. So I actually had to resort to picking the bike up physically and setting it in here. Well, then the issue is this hook right here doesn't really move or fold. So you have to lift the bike and turn the tire to be able to get it on, to be able to set it down and in. And was I able to do it? Sure. With both of them that work up a little sweat, sure. But if you're a little bit older, this is just, in my opinion, going to be too difficult of a system to reliably want to use. Now, this still works great for storage, right? You wanna store your e-bikes in here, awesome. And they did a good job of giving you some additional storage, whether that be for bike helmets or if you wanna use it as a pantry or whatever else, it still does serve that purpose. As I said, it's just a little difficult getting that in and out. Now, if you try it and you're like, Ian, you're crazy, or you find out I'm doing it wrong because, hey, I'm not perfect, maybe I am, uh, then everything else about this I think is fantastic, right? Like they, they did such a good job on everything else. That's why that makes me a little bit sad. Like take a look at the floor plan here, right? We still have essentially dual opposing slides in nearly this entire living space. You have your buffet style table and chairs right here, which I like, electrical outlet in case you do some work, you know, nice comfortable furniture, kind of upgraded, a little more luxurious with the cloth. Love what Montana does there. The slide floor is going to match the flooring itself rather than having like the marine grade flooring that a lot are using and I personally prefer this look I think it's just a lot cleaner it doesn't break uh, it doesn't break up the eye line nearly as much dual theater seatings right across from your entertainment center right where you want it these are powered as well so for power I mean you have power recline you also have power adjustment for lumbar support as well as the head support so you want to talk about ultimate in comfort when you're talking about theater seating this is it right bikes difficult to use. This, not difficult to use, love it. Right in the back is the tri-fold sofa. This does fold out into a bed as well if you have guests. And it has end tables on the side, which I always appreciate. And the, the entertainment center here, I love that they were still able to build this in, right? I mean, this is where the e-bikes are, essentially is right behind here, but they still had enough room. They bumped this out a little bit, but more than enough room to make this work. You have your TV here, you have your fireplace. Just double checking. The tri-fold sofa will clear. Just wanted to make sure, it does clear. Um, so you can still fold that out. But you can see the uh, entertainment center there, everything's great. And up top, you have a little bit of additional storage, not fitting much up there, maybe a few movies or something, but they did give you that. One of my favorite parts, as I mentioned earlier, this pantry, this, this is awesome. Uh, I really, really enjoy this. Um, this is something I, we actually see fairly often in like really high-end motorhomes, right? You start getting into the big diesel pushers. A lot of them will have a pull-out pantry like this with the wood all finished off. Um, I, I really do enjoy that. I think that is super useful. You can see it's slow close on there as well. Nice big kitchen island. I do want to mention that too. You can see over to the side, you have all this prep space right here. Single basin sink. I do kind of miss the, uh, the split bowl of old that Montana had. That's just my personal preference. They had, you know, essentially like a, almost like a 60, that's probably closer to a 70, 30, but like the big bowl was huge and the small bowl was still pretty big. But by going to this sink, it does free up a lot more counter space, which is nice. You also see the high rise faucet here, storage underneath and something else. I mean, I love that. If you know me, you know I love a spot for a trash can. You can also see you have your sink top covers in there as well. Uh, everything in here should be, Slow close, just like so. More storage underneath. Kind of have a two-tone look, right? You have the white over here, a little bit uh, more brown here. Same pulls all the way throughout. More countertop space there. Yeah, there we go. So you have to have a light. I would have been super bummed out if there wasn't. Light right there, pop-up power tower. Boop, boop. 
So you can see that has your 120 as well as uh, USB and USB-C in there. So you can charge pretty much everything. A little more residential looking um, cooktop. It's still a three burner. It's not a full four, but it does look a little bit more residential. You can see the oven built in there is quite large as well. And I don't think this is anything. Oh, maybe I lied. Oh, look at that. Give a little bit of storage underneath. So uh, if you want, you can probably even put your um, sink top covers in there as well, because I'm sure they'll fit. So I do like that little addition. You can see your microwave right up top and then storage is going to be all the way around that. Helps if I remove the travel lock, sorry about that. This is your residential refrigerator, travel lock. Never leave home without it. Um, open that up and you can see again, I mean obviously this is brand new, so we have all sorts of stuff in here, it doesn't look great, but the big thing I wanna point out is how large it is. One of the great things about having the residential refrigerators is just a ton, a ton of cold storage. Uh, you have the ice maker right down below there too. And then lastly, as we come over to the side, this is going to be our pantry. Something again, I really like that they did. They gave you an appliance pantry. Love, love, love that. You have a spot for a coffee maker, toaster, blender, whatever it's gonna be. It's tucked away, you don't have to pull it out. I think that is super smart. And you'll see you have additional storage on this side too. So they even did basically your hallway, right? You know, the little stairway. They did a lot of things I really enjoy. One, as soon as you walk in, you have this cabinet door to hide the unsightly control panel because no one wants to see it. And it's the OG control panel, which is great. Nice tactile buttons, easy to use and see. Tank heaters for all three tanks because this one is four season capable, full time approved. If you're looking for something to live in, this one checks that box. You'll also see the storage all the way down below and they even included these little guys. You have the little marine grade carpet in there, which is kind of a nice touch. And then the steps themselves, take a look. Right there is a central vac. You like to keep your RV clean, that sure makes it easy to do so. You even have a toe kick on there. Ooh, like you're getting your hair cut. Right over to this side, you have a courtesy light, so if you're getting up to use the bathroom in the middle of the night, or more importantly, you have guests that are doing so, they can see and not trip over the stairs, and if they do somehow still manage to trip, well, luckily there's a grab handle right here so they don't fall. And over to the side, spot to hang your keys, spot to hang your jackets, good to go. In the bathroom, yeah, you're gonna like it. I mean, how can you not? Yeah, I have great leg room right here. I have good shoulder space, porcelain bowl right there, big linen closet, <laughs> spot for a trash can. That's so, I, I don't know about you, I have a trash can in my bathroom at home. Most RVs don't have a spot for one and it drives me nuts. Now I do. Don't love the fact it's open because a lot of times I don't want people to see what's in my trash, but I do have a spot for it. Uh, you'll also see storage right over there. Nice big vanity here as well. I do like the faucet choice. I think it's just clean, good lines, nice big mirror. I appreciate that too. Um, not because I'm a narcissist, maybe a little bit, uh, but more importantly, just the fact that, you know, I like to see, make sure I look okay. Or I don't, you know, have a bunch of stuff in my teeth, no bats in the cave, you know, you gotta make sure before you head out. And then we step into the shower and this is one of my favorite parts. The shower is fantastic. It has a texture to it, which I really like. One piece, so less chance for any kind of leaks. You have like a, I don't know, it's teak seat, but you have this nice wooden seat kind of built in right there. I definitely like the look of that. And then you have the tower right here with your shower head, the hand wand, and a couple shower sprays. So you get lots of options. And at six foot tall, I have plenty of height here, even without the skylight, but especially with it. And of course, that's going to help bring in some natural light when I'm showering as well. And the bedroom is no slouch either. You'll have a queen bed standard with a king bed option. Storage underneath. Hiya! Look at that. You can see your two foldable chairs that uh, you can pop up out at the buffet table. And windows on both sides of the slide, those do both open for cross ventilation. Big fan of that. Shelving up top, nice and high, so you're not gonna hit it with your elbow or anything. You can see uh, electric outlets, so you can plug everything in, plus a couple lights up there, and you even have some directional reading lights. Kinda nice if you're a big fan of reading. 
which I am, believe it or not. And then right up front is the wardrobe. You can see that you have your big hanging rod there. Uh, also an electrical outlet, great storage, whether that's for shoes or if you just wanna fold clothes. And it even has a laundry hamper. On the other side, as you would probably expect because of the louvered door here, Washer dryer prep. Now, not that you need washer dryer. In fact, most people don't install it, but if you do plan on living full time, definitely a great addition. You will also see the storage rod in case you don't want washer dryer in there. At the foot of the bed is our dresser TV right above that. And the last thing I do wanna mention is the fact this one has a second AC in the bedroom, but because it's Montana, if you want a third AC, it is prepped for that. And on top of that, this one has an actual residential filter, so you know you're gonna be breathing clean air because you can change that out whenever you need. So let's talk about the outside. It's Montana, it's great, end of story. No, just kidding, but for real, uh, Montana does a lot of things really good. So right up front, your kingpin is going to be road armor, which essentially gives you this pivoting head right here. And what that does is it helps with what they call bucking and chucking, or when you're starting and stopping your tow vehicle, you don't get that pushing and pulling sensation. As we kind of drop down underneath, you'll see great cable management. Everything is all tied up. One of the things I just love about Keystone in general, and especially Montana, and you can see this is nice and open. If you want a uh, generator, I believe you can still get uh, uh, generator installed from Montana. Otherwise, you just have this huge open storage space. Over on this side, we can see the batteries here, or the battery box rather. You will also see your 12 volt distribution box. And this does have a battery disconnect, your pure sine wave inverter, because this one does have the residential fridge and it has a spot to house uh, all of the hydraulic fluid right over to this side. Because, well, this one has hydraulic jacks as well as hydraulic slides, which in my opinion, and I think in most people's opinion in the RV industry, uh, that is going to be the best slide mechanism out there. Uh, if we talk a little bit about the exterior, we'll have a high gloss fiberglass. You have a painted uh, automotive painted front cap on there. It's kind of taking a look up frameless windows, which look great. And I definitely like the way they open because you can kind of have them open when it's raining because the way they essentially tilt open. And you have two large power awnings with LED lights. Propane tanks, we'll have one 30 pounder on this side, another one on the opposite side and then huge pass through. Um, it's one of the things Montana does very, very well. Uh, first of all, it is slam latch, right? Big fan of that. You also see it's a magnetic catch. So it folds up just like that. And it has the pin that goes in to make sure this isn't gonna fall on top of your head. I like that it folds all the way up so it's not just hanging out again so you're not wrecking your dome as you're walking by your campsite. And taking a look inside that basement storage, why is this so big? Well. Montana utilizes what they call drop frame storage. And essentially what that is, is your uh, structural I-beam comes across and you will see that there's actually a second one right down underneath. They weld it down underneath to give you, well, I mean, essentially it would have been right here. It gives you all this extra storage all the way across while still keeping the structural rigidity and integrity of the frame. So uh, why doesn't every manufacturer do it? It costs more money. But you know, when you have something that's a little more luxury like Montana, they can afford to do that that. You'll also see this is heated. That's a huge win, folks. Again, this is four season capable. You're probably gonna have some stuff in here you don't want to freeze. Well, they have a heat duct in here. You can see the central back there as well as your uh, cable and satellite hookup. And if you don't want to plug anything in there, uh, or rather if you'd rather plug something in outside rather than in there, there's a second electrical outlet there. Watch a step, we kind of have a, a, a forklift there, try not to trip over it. Um, and then we have the main entrance, or only entrance really. And you can see you have the more ride step above steps to get into it. This is a huge, huge bonus uh, to have. I mean, a lot of manufacturers have them, don't get me wrong. But what I mean by that is this is so such a better step system than what they've had in the past. The only time I don't prefer these, and this may be something to consider, is if you already have like a patio at your site. If you already have a built out deck, you basically have to remove these uh, in order to be able to use that. Unless, you know, again, it's like a concrete patio or something, but if it's a deck built up, these have to come off, or as if the old style steps would fold up. So that's the only time I don't really care for them. Um, this safety rail is a, just kind of, it's a nice improvement over what they've had in the past. You just kind of pull this pin out, take it out just like so, and then it's nice and secure. It does a really good job of um, 
securing, uh, or rather of just being stable. It's more stable than I expected when I first used it. And uh, it continue, I continue to see that on more and more manufacturers as well. And you can see that uh, Keystone did put it on the Montana. We take a look in between the uh, tires there. You will see the Road Armor Suspension. That's a great suspension system. It utilizes a rubber compound to give you, I think it's like three inches of movement, which definitely helps when towing this down the road. A lot of people, a lot of transport drivers, if you know one, you can ask them, but a lot of them will tell you that Montana's are one of the nicest towing fifth wheels uh, when you're talking about hauling. On the back, you can see a rear mounted ladder so you can climb up onto the roof, 250 pound weight capacity, fully walkable roof as you would expect. You also see right down below here, you do have a hitch. This one is capable of towing 3,000 pounds and you have the four way flat on there. So whether you wanna use this just as a receiver for a bike rack or if you wanna tow like a boat or a trailer or something like that behind you, you can do so. And then 50 amp electrical outlet. I don't think that's, uh, or 50 amp plug, and I don't think that's a surprise to anyone with you know the option for a third AC. And then we get into our bike storage. Uh, we kind of talked about this. I, I do want to say, you know, like it, it, while it's not necessarily right for me. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy the Montana because of this, right? As you saw, everything else in here is amazing. What I'm saying is try it before you buy it because what I don't want to happen is you're like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. It's exactly what I want and you can't use it. But I also don't want you to think that it's not possible because again, I was able to put this up there. Now, if you decide the e-bike model is right for you, great, we'll have price and availability. Uh, just click on the link in the description. However, if you love everything else about it, except for the e-bike portion, well, I got another one for you you're gonna like. Coming up, check it out. Whee! <laughs> <laughs>